bad. A small girl like you, you cannot keep your mouth shut. What is wrong with you? I didn't tell Mama because I wanted to gossip. I just felt Mama would be in a better position to talk some sense into you. Are you saying I don't have sense again? Is that what you are trying to say? Oh yeah, go down on my knees. Go down on your knees. Kneel down. I said on your knees. You are going to remain here till tomorrow. What is wrong with you? What have I done to you? I'm sorry if what I said was wrong. I just thought that if you cannot listen to me, maybe you will listen to Mama. So you're saying I'm senseless? I don't know what I'm doing, Okuya. Yeah? I don't have sense again. I don't know how to spend my money and where to spend it. What is wrong with you? What have I done to you? Nadia! Oh! Babe! Babe! What's going on here? You're back from the village already. Can you imagine? This little brat, she went to the village and told Mama that I'm spending my money on you. She did? Yes, she did. Did I lie? Can you imagine that? Can you see it? Hey, my, my, my love. Oh, Mpenzi Wangu. Mke Wangu. You know, I don't like it when, when you get yourself all worked up. I do not like it when... You get worried like this, okay? You just let her go. Get out from here! Get out! Idiot! Now tell me, Benzi Wangu, when she told your mother that you've been spending your money, your resources on me, what? What's her response? Mama said I should break up with you. But I told her no, I can't do it. That you're my life. I can't live without you. You're my everything. I told Mama I cannot live without you. That I love you so much. That you're my everything. I love you with my heart. I can't leave you. I love you. You know what? Just sit down. Let me go and freshen up. I have gist for you. I'm coming, okay? You yeah. hear? Don't go. I'm coming. I have gist for you. You will laugh, Taya. I'm coming, okay? I'll give me to the Yinsi. I'll give me to the Yanya. Love her. Live up for her. How about going to see? God was my lover. Love her. Are you sure? Okay, I beg. Madam, I beg. Oh, like, you know, I beg. I beg. Madam, I beg. I beg. I beg. I don't sack me now. If I sack me now, who can take care of my sick mother when they're for village? Let me say she's going to die with that now. She I beg. thought about that before you put up that stunt. Eh? I'm <laughs> sorry, Dad. <laughs> sorry. See. Your salary is supposed to be for two weeks. But I decided to make it up to one month. Take it. You never read like that. My friend, have this. You never read like that. That is your salary. Go back to your duty post, pack your things, and leave this house. Okay, you never read like that. I don't work with for four good years. What can I take on that? It's in that spot here. You will not allow me to stand from here. Okay, see, see what you do before me. See my leg. I will take on your comfort. Okay, I'm back now. Get up, get up, get up. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. What? What? Thank you. <laughs> you're not forgiven yet. Yes, you've been with us for four good years. And you've never acted like this before. So tell me what happened. Madam, my hand woke up. Devil. Okay, make her tell you the truth what happened, madam. You see that day, eh? That day, um, Musa, our, our neighbor's kids, man, he celebrated his birthday yesterday, so he gave him drink. And he didn't tell him he doesn't like alcohol, so he just drank it once. Am I lying? No, nah, I Madam, no, nah, not true. I say you take up one and forgive me, I beg. So, it's all from Musa? I think I have to go and meet his guy to warn him never to come to this place again. Dad, I don't think that is necessary. Besides, he's an adult. They didn't force him to drink it. Anyway, you know, you've never done this kind of thing before. Honey, I think we should give him um, a second chance.
Okay. See, let this be the last time you do this rubbish here. Yeah. Come get that from here. Thank you, sir. Madam, thank you. Madam, thank you, sir. Sir, it's not going to happen again. I promise. Can you pick the envelope for your phone? There is something about these girls that I can't understand. Her ways are strange, her actions are strange. She moves like a stranger. Babe, what is it? What are you saying? Now, the truth of the matter is that at this point I don't think I can continue with this this relationship I, I suggest we stay apart stay away from each other for for quite some time I, I need to take a walk what are you saying are you saying you want to break up with me no I never said such I this I was going to break up with you all I said is I I had been dumped so instead of you dumping me, I would rather, I would rather move on. Dump you? You know I love you so much, I can't live without you. Please don't do this to me. Don't leave me. Yeah. Just tell me whatever you want. I will do it. Listen, I truly doubt if you love me. You know why? I swear I love you. I love you with anything in me. I love you. I asked you to stay away from that. That parrot who sells fake organic creams, you refused. I equally asked you to send your kid sister back to the village. You disobeyed me. Where then is the proof that, that you love me? Habba, babe. Is that why you want to end our relationship? Listen, I'm going to end everything I'm doing with Betty. I will stop calling her. She will not visit me. I will not visit her. But check it now. Nadia is my junior sister. I can't send her away. What am I going to tell mama? Please, just tell me anything. Any other thing you want to do, I will do it. Please, I'm begging you. You know I love you. Don't do this to me. Please. Be pleased now. Whatever, I will do it. I swear. Well, well. You already know what to do to make me happy. Yes, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. No, 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 she just transferred 350,000. Go to shopping, do whatever you want to do, buy whatever you want. Please, I want you to be happy, please. 350,000. 350. Only. <sighs> Please manage Why it. Don't. Why don't you just make it a round figure? Make it 500k so that I can manage. Eh? Please manage it, manage it. Are you coming from? Are you deaf? Can't you talk? No, no, speak! Oh, what? What? You, you, you beat me again? That's all you do. One day you guys will beat me to death. No, 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 honey, please, please. Don't, don't, please. Please. It's okay. 
What are you imagined? It's okay. With the rage within you, you'll kill her if you touch her. Please, calm down. And you, Sandra, your behavior is totally unacceptable in this house. You've grown wings, and we're not going to sit by and allow you fly away. You had better change, else you'll make me do something I will not like. Now get out of here. You would have allowed me to beat the excess of her. Goodness me. Her excess is becoming alarming. We need to find a way to deal with her. You touch her now, <laughs> everything will be out there in the internet. And you know what it means. <laughs> we don't need that. We need to find a way to deal with her. <laughs> Sandra. What sort of nonsense is this? Eh? Could this be love or stupidity? Which man in his right sense will be taking this kind of trash from a woman in the name of love? You know we have feminists and they won't defend them many... Baby? Baby? Pezi Wangu.
is going on here? Do you want some orange? What orange? My love. I, I, I got some busy schedule too. I got, I got, I got, I got something to start then too. Have... Why are you sweating? Huh? AC is on. What is it? I have to be on my way now. No, babe, don't go. Don't go. Depends I will see you soon. No. I will see you soon, okay? No, babe, you don't have to go. You don't need to go. We'll talk later, sugar. Nadia, what happened? Orange for what? What are you doing with a knife? I'll go get the orange. Ha! What happened? Nadia knife. Justin. What happened? Hello, babe. Back. Where are you going to? Come back. Ah, babe. Once you dead, I don't know. How did you get him here? What sort of silly question is that? Who opened the downstairs door for you? And I ask you again, what sort of silly question is that? Where is my baby? What baby? <laughs> you want to know if she's dead? I do not understand. What are you talking about? Like you don't know assassins came here to kill her. What assassins are you talking about? I just came in here now. What happened? You really don't know, huh? I didn't offend anyone. I'm so scared. It's understandable. Come here, baby. It's okay. We'll be fine, all right? We'll be fine. Is my baby all right? Which baby? Where is my baby? Call her! She's not inside. Don't take anybody's phone call now, please, for safety purposes. This is my man calling me. We 
doesn't matter. You can't trust anybody at this critical time. But you are here. Mom is here. Justin cannot hurt me. Mom? Yes. What do you think? Well, I, I must say that your friend is right. But then again, on the other hand, I mean, he's your man. And if, if you feel you can trust him, then you go ahead and pick the call. Mom, Justin has been part of my life. Okay. He cannot hurt me. Then answer him. Hello, babe. Prince Wangu. Where are you? I'm at Mommy Maggie's place. Uh, I am in the house now. Can you come over here? I am waiting for you. No, I can't come home. I'm scared. Do you mind if I come over there? Okay, hold on. Mom? Yes. Can you come here? No. Well, I, I guess he can come. Let me give him the address. All right. Hello, babe. Hold on for the address. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello. Okay. It's number twelve, Akusiano Borgo. Uh, all right. You'll find your way, right? Thank you so much, ma'am. Great. All right. I'll see ya. It's all right. You'll be fine, okay? Two assassins came to my house. They wanted to kill me, but they shot at my gate, man. It was only God that saved me. Who could have sent them? Were you having any issues with anyone? No, I don't know. Um, I think um, she needs to... Or rather, both of you need to go to the police and report this case. No, ma'am, I, I, I do not think that's a nice idea. Reporting to the police will not be necessary. But it is necessary. The police need to be notified in case this kind of thing happens again. Uh, ma'am, you know how the police behave over here. Um, if you report to them, they will only end up collecting money from us and they will still not get the job done. Uh, besides, my girl is not hurt. Don't even say that. Don't even say that. Look, we have to go to the police station and make official reports. That is how it's done. No. We're not going to the police. The police can't help us in a situation like this. Uh, the men in question have already escaped. Babe, I think they are making a point. Police needs to know about this. They shot at my gate, man. It was only God that saved me. I'm so scared. I don't want to lose my life. I'm scared. Calm down, my love. I am so glad you said it was God who saved you. Not the place. And that God that saved you. He's still alive. God is not dead. He will always show up for you. As a matter of fact, I will always be there to protect you. And how sure are you? I am very sure. I assure you this. Those men will not come back again. 
my, my love, why don't you just leave this place? You go, go we'll talk about this some other time. No, I'm scared. I can't leave here. You know what? I um, I suggest she stays back here. It's obvious the young girl is traumatized. She needs to calm down and get herself. And on the other hand, I think I will personally take her to the police station. Yes, so she can make a report. Would you like to come along with us? No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, you've suddenly become a stammerer and it's obvious your heart and not too sure of yourself. Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I got some busy schedule and um, it's, a, it's a bit stuffy in here. You have a busy schedule. I'll give me to the young love her. I'll give me to the young lady. Love her. Give up for her. I'm a good young lady. Love her. Love her. Are you sure? Love her. Live up for her. What I'm seeing is fraud. Love her. Sister, love her. You gave up with her. What you got? You gave up with her. Wait, Justin. You told me that the assassin will hire to kill her at the best. Then. But they failed you now. They failed you. I, I, I still do not understand what happened. To this point, I still cannot comprehend exactly what happened. The people I hired are the best hands. They are professionals. I still do not get... I'm still confused. The whole thing is sounding so mysterious to me. Imagine them telling me that they fired and missed the target and, and mistakenly the bullet hit the gate man on the leg. How do I explain this? I am so confused. I just came to you to to see if you give me some ideas, some some solutions. Because at, at this point, I do not know what I am doing anymore. Justin, this whole story is not straight. It's not straight at all. At first, you told me that the rice you poisoned turned into sand and stick on getting to her house. The assassin you hired to kill her eventually shot her gate man. Is there something you are not telling me? Justin, have you fallen deeply in love with her? That maybe you don't want to hurt her? Tell me my stand. I want to know my stand. This whole thing is so confusing. Everything happened the way I narrated it to you. It's just the truth. I am confused myself. I do not, I do not even think it's straight anymore. Eh? I, I, I am even suspecting that 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 that, that, that Amo Su she lives with might be the one manipulating the whole thing. Yes! I get looks like a sorcerer. I don't used to understand her at times. Then if you think she's the one, then take her out of the picture. Mm-hmm. Take her out of the picture and do the do now. Do the needful. Ah. Ah, Madame. Oh, welcome, ma. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Thank you. I would like to buy some, Gary. Okay. How much only? Uh, how much is a painter? It's 2000 2000 I want to buy three painters of Gary, but you'll give it to us for 1005 That way we'll pay 4500 for the three uh, painters. You must be a very mad woman to price my goods like that. You are the mad woman here. How can you call my mother mad simply because she priced your Gary the same amount to sell it to others? She did not call me mad. Yeah, yeah. I did not call your mother a mad woman. No. Are you in my heart to know if I call your mother a mad woman or are you a witch? Hey, you. Swear with your life that you did not call my mother a mad woman. Come off, Toby. You know what, madam, please. I did not call your mother a mad woman. Ma, please, if you don't mind, take your daughter out of my shop if you don't want to buy Gary from We are not leaving until you apologize. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. How can I call an elderly woman a mad woman? If I call your mother a mad woman, let's try to fire me and my garden. What sort of rubbish is You know what? Please, madam, I am not selling again. It's okay, you but you don't have to swear. You don't have to. Please, just leave my shop. I'm are not are selling you, again. Are you? Are you happy now? Very much happy. Then let's leave. What kind of thing is oh my mother? You need to have been there to see the way she was talking to the soul. How can she be saying what is in the woman's mind 
Is she a mind reader or what? Exactly the same question that I asked her. There's so many strange things about that girl that just makes me feel like sending her back to the orphanage. Oh, mom. Don't say that again. Sandra is your daughter and that's fine now. You know, with all the abnormal things happening in this house, I am... Um, I just feel concerned. It keeps me the jitters. I still can't forget how that glass of juice left my hand that day after scolding her. Well, maybe I was not holding it very well. No, I think you were. Because um, there's been a lot of encounters lately that makes me believe that there's something strange happening. Mom, why not get a good man of God to do some prayers around the house? <laughs> In case of evil forces. Oh, my dear, we've done that already. The man of God we invited here actually, I don't know whether he came with a bad stomach or what. He farted all over the place. As a matter of fact, he polluted the house. <laughs> no, no, it's not funny. And a couple of months later, my husband saw him and said he was blind. Blind? Yes. And that's why we're a bit skeptical of bringing in someone else. You know? We don't want to take that risk. Don't worry yourself, mom. I will get a powerful man of God and I will tell you. Oh, that would be very nice of you. Please do. Thank you, ma'am. I will be on my way. Uh -huh. Please stay a little longer. Don't worry, I will see you tomorrow. You promise? Promise. I'll be waiting. All right. See you. All right, you take care. Bye-bye. Do take care. Right, oh, by you. the way, I love your outfit. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, goodness me. You cannot stop and listen to me. Listen, it is not funny. This, this is not a laughing matter. Oh my you should have seen the faces of those young men that I was talking about. Honey, please, please, please. There's nothing serious about this whole thing. I mean, I'm yet to read meanings out of this. Come, how can a small Sandra, our little daughter, order two adults to fight each other up to the extent of sustaining bruises? Eh? Now you come. Who them ask them to stop fighting? Don't <laughs> tell me. You know, it's hardly <laughs> around. Strange things happen here. No, 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 please, 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 please. No, there's nothing strange happening here. This is just your imagination. Okay, what about the incidents of the, the, the juice, the, the juice incidents? The young lady was not holding the glass very firm. That was something slipped out of her hand. What about the market woman? The small girl merely guessed and she guessed right. She got the woman there. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. <laughs> come, 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 come. Okay, let me ask you. What about the remote control? The best thing for us to do here is to send her back to the orphanage. Honey, that is not an option for now. Sandra is our daughter. And, you know, this was what we signed when we adopted her from the motherless baby's home. I think the 
only solution is to think of a way forward here. I think I know what to do. There is something about these girls that I can't understand. Her ways are strange, her actions are strange. She moves like a stranger. I'm saying that he might be the one that sends those assassins. How dare you accuse my man? I'm sorry. What I mean is, he might actually be the one that sent those assassins to kill you. You and I know you hate Justin, but lying against him is evil. Evil? Yes, evil. Hello. Oh. Victor. Good afternoon, Sister Nisha. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, you are doing good. Victor, Rafa, what happened? Uh, how did you come on and now? Yes, um, I heard some hoodlums came to attack you, so I'm here to know their actual situation. Who told you? Nadia did. I had to. Hello, babe. My younger brother just came in. Hold on, say hi to him. Victor. Say hi to my man. Jesus! Hold on, I will call you back. A minute. Is this not Justin? You know him? Yes, I know Justin. Justin is evil. What are you saying? Justin is my man. Your man? Sister, Justin can never be your man. Finally, I have seen someone who is with me on this page. Victor, what are you talking about? Sister, what I'm saying is that this guy is deadly. Back in the school, he killed so many students and forced so many young souls to join his deadly group. And anyone who tries to question him, he burns the person alive and nothing will happen. Justin is a kidnapper, he's an armed robber, he's a rapist, and Sister, to crown it all, he is a gigolo. I don't even think his name is Justin because back then in school we knew him as Black Arrow. And that is what he is. I wonder what you are doing with him. Nadia put you up with this. Me? No! Anyways, Justin is the man I want to marry. What? Impossible. Sister, that cannot happen. Victor, you don't have any right to tell me what to do with my life or not. Then I have to tell mom about it. You don't have to bother yourself. I've told her already. But it did not change anything. Enough! I won't have two of you banter me like a kid. I want to be left alone. Now. Brother Victor, do you want food? Yes, please, I'm famished. Let's go and eat food. Okay. Hello, babe. Where are you now? I want to see you. Okay, I'm coming. As always. I'm missing you already. Come on, see? Yeah. But then before you do it, I'm fine. Already working on my retirement paper, you know. As soon as that is done, I'll be fully here for the both of you. Oh, I can't wait for you to come back so we'll start our family business. Yes, my love. Now listen, you take care of you for me. Okay? Yourself too. Uh, as always. Well, remember, do not allow Santa's assistance to upset you this much. <laughs> I'll try, but it's a tall order, though. <laughs> anyway, oh, I'll be on my way. Let's go and see you. Let's take care of the house. I will pack your stuff already. Mm -hmm. 
I told Sister Anita about Justin. He's a gold digger. He's up to no good. His plan is to suck her off everything she has. But he didn't succeed in doing that. Now he wants to kill both of us and claim ownership of Sister Anita's property. You say these things with so much conviction. How are you sure that that is his exact plan? Do you want to know? Yes, I want to know. Give me your hands. What are you doing? Just concentrate. Feel the moment. How did you do that? Tell me what you saw. Justin is not only married. He has two kids. And they are planning on killing Sister Anita so that they can elope with everything she has. We need to warn Sister Anita about the impending danger. I've been doing that all my life. But she wouldn't listen. As we speak now, she's with Justin having a nice time. There is nothing we can say or do to change her. What I want you to do for me is to help me put a sonder between them. <sighs> Look at what desperation to get married has cost Sister Anita. Do you want water? Yes, please. Cool one. Beware of him. He's on a mission. He's not for love at all at all. Money you go every You have put all your trust on him. Nadia, Nadia, are you home? Nadia, Nadia. feel satisfied whenever I call you mom. It gladdens your heart to hear Anita call you so. How do you know that? Does that mean I'm right? That's not the answer to my question. You know, your behavior is worrisome. Sometimes I wonder what kind of a person you are. I know you don't like me. You don't show me the affection a mother shows her child. Even if you're not my biological mother. Why treat me with so much disdain the way you do? Don't try to make me feel guilty of your bad and awkward behavior in this house. 
All I ever wanted was a child of my own. But your irregular behavior in this house has just made me think otherwise. You know what? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Just let me be. Really. There is something about this girl that I can't understand. Her ways are strange, her actions are strange. She moves like a stranger. That's the reason I need a strong spiritualist. I know of one person who can help. You do? Yes. I hope not one that would ask for so much, something I definitely cannot afford. What we need to do is to go there and make inquiries. Then you know what is wrong with her. Anita, what do you think? Yes, mommy. Maybe we can find a solution there. Let's try. Okay then. If my daughter says we try, then we try. We'll try. Now? Yes, now. Okay. okay. So let me get my car. No, mom, we can go with my car. You shall go in vain. Nothing can alter my mission. not around. No one is around. I know. That's why I came. I want us to talk. Sit. I'm okay standing. Say what you want to say and get out before my uncle comes and meets you here. That's your lily-livered uncle. He's scared of me. He's afraid of me. He fears me like I am the devil himself. I know you're the one making attempts on my life and that of my aunties. I know you sent those assassins to kill us and killed them spiritually so they won't expose you and your wife. I know you have two kids and plan to elope with them after claiming my aunt's property. Who... Who... are you? I am your worst nightmare. <coughs> You think you're married? You're so foolish that you don't even know the woman you're living with. <coughs> what? What are you talking about? As you make plans, your wife too is making plans to elope with her two children and boyfriend. That is after you must have cleaned all of my aunt's property.
I already know. It is the small girl that lives with you. She is manifesting some evil possessed behavior. Yes, you're right. And you are here to confirm that she is possessed. Exactly, exactly. That's why we're here. Sandra is not possessed with any evil spirits. But she is a spirit. Wise one. Wise one, are you saying Sandra is not a human being? So, so, so I've been living with a spirit all this while. Woman! Do not put words in my mouth, woman. For her sake, you and your husband are still alive. I, I don't understand. Can you explain, please? <laughs> you will know first. But first, let's treat it with urgency as the Mother Earth. Now, I think I need to deviate from your case. <clears throat> and you, Anita, the days are Where's one? How do you mean? The angel you are living with has tried her possible best to keep you alive. But you chose <clears throat> to die with the man you love. I knew it. You know absolutely nothing, woman. So keep quiet! Um, um, wise one. Um, I don't understand. Please, can you explain to me? I'm confused. <clears throat> the great accord on the Moja falls on the job. So transparent as ever, we'll reveal it to you. <laughs> Wait, oh, Justin, you told me that the assassin you hired to kill her had the best. Then, but they failed you now, they failed you. I, I, I still do not understand what happened. To this point, I still cannot comprehend exactly what happened. The people I hired are the best hands. They are professionals. I still do not get... I'm still confused. The whole thing is sounding so mysterious to me. Imagine them telling me that they fired and missed the target and, and mistakenly the bullet hit the man on the leg. How do I explain this? I am so confused. I just came to you to to see if you would give me some ideas, some some solutions because at this point I do not know what I am doing anymore. 
Justin, this whole story is not straight. It's not straight at all. At first, you told me that the rice you poisoned turned into sand and stick on getting to her house. The assassin you hired to kill her eventually shot her gate man. Is there something you are not telling me? Justin, have you fallen deeply in love with her? That maybe you don't want to hurt her? Tell me my stand. I want to know my stand. This whole thing is so confusing. Everything happened the way I narrated it to you. It's just the truth. I am confused myself. I do not, I do not even think it's straight anymore. Eh? I, 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 I am even suspecting that 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 Amosu she lives with might be the one manipulating the whole thing. Yes! It looks like a sorcerer. I don't used to understand her at times. Then if you think she's the one, then take her out of the picture. Mm-hmm. Take her out of the picture and do the do now. Do the needful. Ah. Stop. Then what is it? Why are you blocking my way? I will not watch you take the original documents of this house to Justin. Can't you see he's trying to shove you up everything you have? Then you will die. No. Now then what is it? Give me the documents. Is it your document? What is it? Are you the owner of this house? Give me. Is it your own? Come on. You will not leave this house. Are you the owner? Come on, keep quiet. What is it? I'm your elder sister. Nadia. Nadia, what is wrong with you? What is it? Leave my way here. late again. Yeah, baby. It's simply because I I was being careful so that nobody would see me. Honestly, baby, this whole thing is getting longer than expected. Eh? The kids are asking after you, their father. They miss you. I miss them too, okay? You need to explain to them that I equally miss them. But the deal at hand requires a whole lot of patience. Do you understand? I am doing this for us, for the betterment of our children, for you, for myself, right? Before you know it now, the big bag will drop. And as, as it drops, I, 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 I will locate all of us abroad and we have a very beautiful life. Come to think of it, mm. looking at how beautiful you are. Mm -hmm. Don't you know this country does not fit you? I know, I know. I am patient. I've been patient, so I'm still patient. But honestly speaking, baby, this is over a year now. It's I, over a year. I know. It is taking time because great things, great achievements take time. We are not expecting it to just happen in a twinkle of an eye, to just happen in a day. Baby, sometimes I just, I, I just, I couldn't have agreed to this whole arrangement. To... Uh, you, you probably need to understand that I miss you so much. Eh? I miss sleeping in your arms. I, I, I miss waking up by your side. I miss the warmth of your skin. I miss everything about you. Ah, it's okay. Yes. It's okay. There's um, no problem. I, uh, don't you think you are forgetting something? No. What is it? What? Today is my birthday. Oh my God. I totally forgot. Oh, happy birthday to oh, you, my. <gasps>
First, my friend. Come, I think I know you. Why aren't you the girl from the other day that did something to me? Right, it's you, it's you. So? What is it that you did to me the other day that made me fix my eyes on you? And it's led me to break up with my girlfriend. Are you a witch, or are you possessed, or are you in a kovu, or a cottage? Listen, I would advise you to choose wisely of your words, so it wouldn't be your last. So, you can't say, I call you, they ask you questions, I'll be teaching me how you relate. If I say such as I want you, then I can't go fight for you. You finally found what you're looking for. Now, take it. Walk over to the tree and hang yourself to death until all the air in you dries out. Go. business with them. Wait and watch. Okay. How dare you? How dare you interfere to my verdict with my subject? Who made him your subject? As far as I'm concerned, darkness shall not triumph in this city. And who are you? Who I am is none of your business. You just made the greatest mistake of your life.
to everything you did back there. You still have the audacity to come to my house. I've come to know who you are and what you can do. You know, you've got some nerves to come and ask for a battle. And I promise you, I will feast on your flesh and drink your blood for dinner tonight. Empty vessels make the loudest noise. I know this and I'm sure you know it too, that darkness can never prevail over light. Enough talking. Let the battle begin. Is that all you can do? Let the real fight begin. No, you both shouldn't fight with each other. Who are you? And how dare you interfere in our contest? What's going on here? Why, 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 why am I cheap? What's going on? Why is my house like this? And you, who are you? This woman claims to be our mother. Who are you talking to? Which mother? Nadia, what are you doing here? Mom, this is Nadia, my junior sister. You've been talking about? Yes, ma'am. Woman, if you are sure of your claims, appear so all can see. My name is Norma, the mother of Uman Kili and Ethan Kili. I got married to the best husband in the world, your father. But I didn't conceive for years into our marriage. I came out to the forest and cried out for a child. And the gods of the forest of fruitfulness gave me the vote of him. And gave me powers that even the gods were jealous of. While I was pregnant, calamity started to happen. And out of jealousy of my powers, the chief priest said that the gods told him that the child I was carrying were cursed. And when my husband had got to hear about this, he ran back home and made me run away. And when the village warriors came home, they killed my husband, your father, for letting me run away. I ran back to the forest that day and had a hard labor because of stress. No! I don't believe this. This is our mother. And Nadia here is my junior sister. She's saying the truth. What? The woman taken after Nadia died on Thomas Clash and left Nadia and Sandra. I had to carry both of them to my house, but my husband insisted I should take them to an orphanage. Then he counts about three adopted daughters. So when I went to the orphanage, the orphanage admin refused to accept the two. I had to go with them, Nadia at home. Oh, wait, wait, just wait a minute. So obviously, my husband and I Adopted Sandra from the same orphanage, right? Oh God, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. You know what? You can now go back to your family because I will finally find peace in my home. All right? Understand? There's no way she would change. I really do not want her in my home anymore. I just, just oh, mom, I'm please sorry. Forgive her. Please forgive her. Please. I promise mom, you, mom. I'm please. sorry. Please. She tormented please. me. Please forgive her. Please. I'm sorry. Mom, please forgive her. Please. Please. Please, I wanted to hear please, those words. Please, I'm so sorry, Mom. Me, I promise. I'm sorry.
Wait a minute. There is something I want to understand. Mama, you said that Papa rejected Sandra because he didn't want to harbor three abducted daughters. Sandra and Nadia are twins. Who is the third daughter? You. Mama, what are you talking about? Your mother abandoned you in the hand of your grandmother. What? Who died of heart attack. When the police killed your father. For stealing and robbing. She broke down and left you at tender age. I took you with pity and raised you because I have no child of my own. Thank you. 